Hi guys, it's Lauren. Thanks for stopping by my channel. In today's episode, I'm doing my cousin Dina's makeup again. And uh, you might remember her from my uh, mermaid look that I did a while <laughs> back. And now I turned her into the theme for St. Patrick's Day, as you can see with her cute green scarf here. And I repeated the colors on her eyes. And I'll just show you what I used really quick before we get started. I used a couple of greens from the Coastal Scents 88 Shimmer Palette. In the green row, I used the two colors up to the bottom. And if you go over to the next green row, that dark one right here. So I use these three green colors. And from the L'Oreal Hip Collection, I use this green pigment in Rebel. And I line the eyes with um, the Hip Eyeliner in Teal. And from Paint Cosmetics, I use Pellucid, this nice yellow pigment. And this look is great for St. Patty's Day, whether you go into the parade or going out drinking afterwards. It's very dramatic. It has a lot of greens and some yellows in it. And, um, yeah, let me know if you try it out. You can definitely tone it down if it's too much. And, uh, just be happy St. Patty's, Patty's Day. Day. Bye. Bye! Okay, so first we're putting on some Too Faced Shadow Insurance, which is going to be our primer. And I'm just blending that out all over the lid. And next, I'm um, using the Clinique Creamsicle and Nude Shimmy. I'm just putting that all over the lid and blending that out as well. It's going to act as our base. And the first eyeshadow is going to be the top yellow color that I'm going to show right now. And it's from the Coastal Sense 88 eyeshadow palette, the shimmer one. So I'll put the codes for all the eyeshadows I use from that one. And it's just going to be in the inner corner, that's it right there making a nice triangle shape with it and it's okay it doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna lay um, layer another color on right on top which is gonna be that color I just showed you it's Pellucid from Pink Cosmetics it's a very nice pigment and I'm just foiling that on right on top using Corrin's mixing medium recipe which makes everything pop out even more as you can see And the next pigment I'm going to use that's going to go in the middle of the eyelid is called Rebel from L'Oreal Hip. It's a nice lime green color. I'm applying it from the lash line up into the crease. Just packing that on. As you'll see, this look will be a nice transition from yellow to green. Well, from yellow to dark green, I should say. And uh, I'm just packing more on. At this point, we'll be covering two-thirds of the eyelid. And the next color we'll be using is going to be with that 88 Shimmer Palette from Coastal Sense, as you'll see in a minute. Yeah, like I said, we're taking that lime green color from the Coastal Sense Palette and just packing it on to the last third of the eye to the outer corner and you didn't see me do it before but I put a piece of tape so I'm just applying it in that area and I don't really have to care about it being messy because of that tape and on that end of the brush I had already put some dark green eyeshadow which is also from that palette and I'm going against that area where the tape is and I'm bringing it down across the other green colors I put just to give it more dimension and it's gonna look really nice when I line the eyes in a minute so I'm just blending that out from the outer corner in towards the other eyeshadows I put and the crease color is just the light green color that I used previously I'm just repeating that same color into the crease And I'm just doing a touch up with the dark green. And I had already put some Too Faced Shadow Insurance on the lower lid, and now I'm bringing that yellow eyeshadow, the first one we used from the 88 palette. And I'm bringing it all the way across the eyelid, lining the eyes there. And I'm revealing how it looks without the tape. And I'm going to grab some more yellow 
and I'm actually going to bring it all the way across as you'll see in a minute I'm just making such ups so like I said I'm just bringing that right where the tape was previously I'm just going by that guideline where the green is and it just makes it look a lot nicer and it's gonna pop out even more now that the yellow is right next to it and I'm lining the eyes right now with the MAC 266 liner brush it's a nice thin brush which is really good because I want to get as close to the lash line as possible so you can still see that green that I had lined the eyes with before that dark green eyeshadow and this is the final look after I applied mascara I really hope that you guys have a happy and safe St. Patty's Day and thanks so much for stopping by my channel have a great day and I also forgot to mention that this video is my contest entry for Makeup and Nice St. Patrick's Day theme contest. So, Crystalina, I hope you enjoy this video as everyone else. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for stopping by.